This is The Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a top-of-the-line automobile spare tire lock from a hundred years ago. It's the Johnson Universal, and this was a big deal back in 1920 when spare tires were commonly secured to the outside of a car with little more than a leather belt. As I was researching this lock, I came across some 1920 advertisements, and the hype is actually really interesting. Here, it's claimed you can find the most expert thief in town, give him a hammer, chisel, crowbar, shears, any tool he wants, then stand by and laugh at him. With respect to the Yale core that holds it closed, they say, quote, no tool can open it except the key you carry. Apparently, the manufacturer also claimed that it is, quote, proof against anything less than two to three hours of machine shop work. Well, I think we can do better than two to three hours. The Yale core in here might have been quite good back in 1920, but it is about the equivalent of what you'd find in a master lock number three today. So let's see what it takes to pick this open. I'm going to use this wiper insert to both pull the shutter aside and turn the core. Then we're gonna use a standard hook in 25 thousandths. Little click on one, click on two, Click on three, nothing on four, back to the beginning. Little click on one, nothing on two. Click out of three, and it looks like we got this open. Okay, let's make sure we've turned this core all the way and pull the armored cable out. Okay, as you saw, this is not too hard a pick, but even so, I have to note that I am impressed with the construction. This little lock weighs over three pounds, and this, I believe, is the shortest version of it. Frankly, it's put together better than most modern armored cable locks. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.